Hi, this is Grace again, and I just got done recording two brand new episodes of my podcast. My podcast is the Career Revisionist Podcast. If you haven't had a chance to check that out, I'm on iTunes as well, Apple iTunes. And if you don't use Apple, that's fine. I'm also on other Android platforms. You choose your favorite platform, just go to careerrevisionist.com. And I'm also on Spotify, Google Podcasts, choose your favorite podcast. So I was just recording two brand new episodes, and one of the episodes that I was talking about was on the six phases of your career. You know, everybody goes through these six phases, and at each phase of your career, your employers and your peers will value you based on different things. So I've had an opportunity to speak about this topic and topics like that from the stage, and I always get asked. You know, people are my people, my audience, my listeners are always asking me, "Well, I want to grow in my career. I want to accelerate my career. I want to take my career to the next level." And there's so many different things that I know I need to learn in order to get there, right? If I want a promotion, if I want to get a raise. If I want to be at the peak of my career, I need to learn new things. I need to constantly be learning. But there's only a finite time of the day. There's only 24 hours in the day. How do I know what skills I should focus on? How do I know what skills I need to focus on? I also have other people asking me a similar question where they say, "I have so many interests. I love learning. I love going to school. I love learning, but I want to be sure that I'm using my time wisely. So how do I know which interest to focus on?" And that's a valid question, and I completely understand because I love learning too. I mean, of course, most of the things that I learned, I learned in college. And if you've been following me for some time now, you know that I spent 10 years in university, right through to my PhD. So I love learning. But since I graduated from college, I've become I've come to value self. Learning, and I call myself an autodidact. An autodidact, which means I'm a self learner. I love to pick up materials and learn on my own. So I want to talk to you about. I want to address that question. So a lot of you have been asking me, how do I know what to focus on? What skills should I choose? So here's the thing: when you're approaching decisions, any decision in your career, it's good to have approach it from a business perspective. And here's what I mean by that: you are making decisions on your career. Right, but you are also the product of what you're selling. Everything that you're doing, every re- every relationship that you're building, any time that you want to move up in your career, any time you want to move up in the to the next level of your career, you need to sell someone. On that opportunity, you need to sell someone on giving you opportunities, on helping you to get there. So you are constantly marketing and selling you yourself. So that means that you are an entrepreneur, you are a CEO, and the brand that you're selling is you, right? So with that in mind, the pr- approach here is to think about a company. From the perspective on what a company needs, if you want to choose, if you want to be sure that the decision you're making, the skill that you're focus, focusing on, is going to get to that to that next level, let's go back to the basics here. Every company that you can possibly work for, every employer that you can possibly work for, what is one thing that they all need? They need to grow too, right? Any company you work for, any employer, they need to grow, and growth to me, to them, means revenue, right? A company will only be sustainable if they scale, if they can increase their revenue, if they can, in other words, increase their sales. So, for you to be valuable, for you to be irreplaceable, and Accelerate your career every year onward. If you can build, if you can choose a skill that will help them to grow, increase their revenues, that will help them to solve the problems and the roadblocks they're currently facing in growth and sustainability, then that is what will accelerate you to that next level. Now, I'm not saying that you need to become a salesperson because that's usually what people think when they first when they think about well, in order to increase a company's revenue, it's about sales, isn't it? So I have to become a salesperson? No, that's not true. Think about this. Yes, a salesperson is that. Well, there's the one in the field. They're the ones that are customer facing. They interact with customers. They bring the customers in. They attract the customers. Yes, so they are directly involved in revenue creation. But think about all the other roles within a company itself that have an influence, a strong impact on revenue growth and and a company's sustainability. These are all the support roles as well. There are also business-focused functions within a company. 
and the business focus functions in the company are the ones that are executive levels, VP levels, or even with a business, an, ex, an exact strategic role within the business that don't, that they're not, they're not sales, right? But they have their role and their expertise and their experiential value is directly correlated with helping that company solve their growth problems. So if you can choose, if you have, if you can choose a skill that will get you to the next level of this so that you can use your time wisely, you're learning something new, you are cons constantly challenging yourself and getting your career to that next level, choose a skill to focus on that will help the company, your company, your future employer or your current employer to solve those roadblocks. So that means that you have to be clear for yourself what are the real problems that my company is facing or what is the real problem that the company that I'm interested in is facing that is preventing them from moving forward to the next stage. So you have to do a little bit of a recon work here. You have to do a little bit of detective work here and to understand what, what, are, what is the future mission of that company. What are they striving towards? What are their, what are their innovations telling you about them? You know, what are their visions for their own future? And any time a company wants to grow, which is all of them, they all want growth, they all want sustainability, they are going to be facing problems. Right? And you have to be, do a bit of recon work and discover what are those potential roadblocks, the real struggles that they could be, they, they could be facing right now or in the near future. Chances are they are already facing problems right now. Every company is because, of pro because all companies are made of people and people aren't perfect. Systems are never perfect. Structures are never perfect. So where is it that you can fit in? with your current expertise and what is that gap that you need to fill in order for you to have that acceleration in your career. So if you want to be irreplaceable, if you want to get to that next level, ask yourself what is that skill that will help them to solve that problem. And usually that problem is a problem in terms of their company growth and, and, and their sustainability. So if that's you and you're wondering I have so many interests, which one to, which skill should I focus on? Or if you're wondering, well, I, I, I don't want to make a, a poor choice, but I only have a finite period of time, which skill should I focus on? Then that's the skill that you should think about. What is that one skill that will help them to increase their revenue and will help that company to accelerate their growth and to expand and to scale and to make sure that that company is sustainable? Right? And if you stack that upon that new skill that you, are, that you are choosing, if you stack that upon your current skills, the skills that you have had that you went through, maybe you went through formal education, maybe you, you trained and you gained some new skills on the job or in your area of expertise, if you stack that upon that, then you are creating something extremely unique. Right? And if that skill is gonna help them to get more revenue combined with your previous experiential value, then that is how you become irreplaceable in your marketplace. So I'm driving in my car right now and I just thought that I wanted to share this with you. I just couldn't wait to share it with you, so here I am. If you want to find out more though and you want a little bit of like a little bit of guidance on how do I accelerate my career, how do I get the growth that I want, I have something for you. And it is absolutely free. It is a four-day training that I created just for that purpose because I was so excited I wanted to share with you this new methodology. So if you're curious and you want to find out more what you can do to accelerate your career, then go to careerrevisionist.com slash training. Click on the link somewhere here below. There will be a link for you. It is a free of charge, four day training. Just go there and I'll see you there. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, another episode of a career coaching on the go. If you enjoyed this, if you liked the content, give me a thumbs up and also remember to subscribe to my channel. Just click the link and ring that bell sometime somewhere below here because you want to be notified each time I upload a new video. And if you have any questions again, drop those in the comments below. I love to hear from you. I read all of my comments and if I choose, sometimes I choose comments from my listener or questions from my listener and I create a brand new episode and I will credit you for that question as well. So please comment below with your questions and give me a like as well. And I look forward to seeing you again on the go in career coaching on the go.